All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I wired in the gimbal. There are only basically three wires you need to worry about. It came with this whole set here. I just stripped off two wires, and we're going to go over that. So here is the 2D gimbal. I'm going to see if I can focus in here so you guys can see the prongs from the side. There are three prongs all going down. And uh, what I've done here is I've taken the gray wire, and I've attached it to the lowest prong on the gimbal, and then I took the white wire and I attached it to the lowest prong on the other side here of the pins. So there's only two pinholes because it's only a 2D. Both wires go on the lowest pin possible. So if I was to remove these, I could pull them out here with one hand. If I was to remove these, as you can see, there's only just a pin there at the bottom. So all you're doing is putting both channel wires into the lowest possible pin Oops, on the board here. And then you're pushing them in tight. There we go. So there's only, there'll be two uh, pins exposed on the top. And then you know you've done this right. So now you just need to look at your color coding for the wires. Obviously my camera is blanking this out. This one is gray and this one is white. And all you're going to do is take those wires, run them right to the bottom of the pin. Let me see if I can move the gimbal just a little bit here. There we go. And you're going to put them in the farthest Let's see, sorry guys, I know this isn't the best, but you'll be able to see here. Ports 3 and 4, the two lowest pins on the ports. This white one here is the gimbal, or the uh, camera connection. So all you're going to do is plug your camera wire in when you're done. But all you're doing is plugging these into the two prongs at the bottom closest to the board here. So you'll see the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is the two lowest ones on channel 3 and channel 4. Uh, on the hubs in here, and this is for the uh, standard edition, so very easy to connect. Um, and you can choose what you want, tilt or roll, you can switch these back and forth if you want to to change uh, T1 and T2 on the transmitter. Uh, let me focus this in here if I can. So T1 and T2, if you just reverse those wires while they're connected on here, just change the pin ports, uh, that will actually uh, change which side is tilt and which side is uh, uh, roll so that's up to you whatever you want those to be and then all you do is plug in the JST connection uh, provided on the back of the gimbal into the bird so very very easy uh, we just needed to make sure oops sorry about that we just needed to make sure that we uh, had uh, a schematic of what these uh, channel wires do and what is tilt what is roll so um, yeah we got it down uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this back up now I just want to show you guys the, the wiring real quick. So it's just the two lowest on here and the two lowest to the furthest of the right on the bottom of the board there. Very, very simple. And then all you do is connect your camera wire and connect it to the camera that's uh, on your gimbal currently, which is probably going to be the Hubson camera if I want this to work correctly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so then you'll have a two-axis stabilized gimbal that is uh, controllable here on T1 and T2. All right, so just as a point of reference here, your bird came with two gimbals, a one axis for the camera holster, and then obviously I've modified this one already, but this was the one that had the cell phone holster, and all I did was remove the uh, top bracket that clips into the hubson. So this piece right here, I just removed it from the other one, and all I did, pretend this is the gimbal, all I did was glue the other one right to the bottom of that. That way I could still clip the gimbal in. So pretend this is the gimbal. All I did was uh, put this up here about like that and just enough that I could move that bracket down still and be able to pop it in and out. And I glued it directly on top of this one just like that. And then I uh, was able to still use this mount and be able to clip it in and out and still have the anti-vibration pad so all you have is the circles kind of hanging out on the bottom but uh like i said if you take a look at what i got going on here it looks perfect so not a not an issue but there you go so you can see i just glued it right to the right to the top there no issues works perfect so that's uh that's what i did so the rest of it is just uh, basically gluing or however you're going to do this. Let me see if I can focus in there. Uh, all you're doing is just gluing this gimbal system to the cell phone gimbal that comes with your bird. That's it. You're just going to glue it in there. 
and make sure that your uh, anti-vibration mounts are nice and loose. This is perfect how this is. I went ahead and reversed my T1 and T2 connections because I wanted uh, tilt on this side because I'm so used to the solo that I just want to be able to be flying and just roll it with my pointer finger uh, to make things a little easier. But just so you guys can see here, it's done. It's fully stabilized. Everything is good to go. We should have no anti-vibration problem. We shouldn't have any vibration problems. So there you go. Looks good. Looks good. Everything is connected except for the camera wire right there, which still has to go into the Hubson camera, which now I can use a GoPro or the Hubson camera or whatever I want to on it. So this is basically done. There's nothing else that needs to be done with that except for the camera wire needs to be plugged in so I can start using the uh, start and stop and have FPV on here. But we're still waiting for that camera wire to come in the mail. So two Axie gimbals installed. Perfect, man. Everything's working perfect. I think the anti-vibration is looking good. So next time we go out, it shouldn't have any jello. I've pretty much fixed this unit up, man. It's uh, it's ready for for flight. Like I said, the only thing holding me back right now is the fact that... Uh, I don't have the camera wire to get FPV, so unfortunately my little FPV rig that plugs into this is too big and the antenna sticks out, so I can't do that, so we're kind of stuck with this, but I hope that helped you guys install this gimbal. Like I said, the uh, the installation or the uh, purchase uh, link will be down in the comments section below, so there you go. Tilt and roll working perfect. Perfect. Everything's working great. And uh, it'll look all the way up into itself. It'll also look all the way down, no problems. So, working good. Working good here. Let's straighten it back out again. So there you go, man. It's a $36 gimbal for a DJI product installed on a hubs. And, and uh, perfect stabilization. Everything looks good, man. We are good to go. Good to go. Alrighty, guys. Drone worship. I'm out. Toodaroo.